Welcome to November football, where the Chiefs find themselves atop the AFC West for the second straight season. Last year, it was an undefeated September that jump-started the Chiefs' run towards an AFC West title. This year, the team didn't find its first victory until October, but thanks to a four-game win streak that's yet to come to an end, the Chiefs have clawed their way back into the thick of the AFC West race. Kansas City's improbable comeback proves that the momentum train is difficult to stop. Winning encourages more winning, and the Chiefs are rolling ahead full steam with the remaining two games of a three-game homestand. This is November football, and this is where things really start to get exciting. Rising from the dead on Halloween night in front of an electric Arrowhead Stadium crowd puts the Chiefs in rare territory. Kansas City is now just one of five teams to have gone from 0-3 to 4-3 since 1970. The Chiefs' worst to first climb has been historic, but it's not over yet. This team has dug itself out of a hole that appeared to be bottomless, but the real work still remains. The season will only be half over after this Sunday's game. Miami's visit to Arrowhead represents a huge obstacle for Chiefs players and coaches to overcome. Yes, Miami is winless, and yes, the Chiefs are rolling. But Kansas City left everything on the field in last week's emotional Monday night football win against the Chargers. Some would call this a trap game, the potential for an emotional letdown. Mentally, the Chiefs appear strong enough to weather the challenges of a game like this. Though a then winless Buffalo Bills team did charge into Arrowhead last Halloween and push the division leading Chiefs to the brink of overtime. But this time around, the Chiefs don't appear set up for a mental lapse. It's simply the challenge of getting the body to catch up with the mind. The want to is there, but the Chiefs are operating off a short week following one of the most physically draining games in recent memory. Miami, despite their record, is still fighting. They're just one or two plays away from being on a two-game win streak and potentially even a winning record with tight early season losses. But they've been unable to close out opponents. The Finns went on the road and outplayed the Giants last week in New York. They'll come into Arrowhead hungry for their first victory on Sunday afternoon. Just because the Chiefs have climbed back to the top of the division doesn't mean the challenges have stopped. Really, the path to repeating as AFC West champions has only just begun.